takes the same energy to think small as it does to think big, and you must think big. We're talking about goals. When I saw Russell Simmons driving around, I said, no matter what, I'm going to be part of that world. I can't rap, I can't sing. I could dance a little bit, but I don't think that's going to get me far. I'm going to be part of this hip-hop world. And I was making these hats. And I said, let me go home. I went home, and I thought of a name. I said, I got to think of a name who's going to be proud and worship the customer because the customer's first. All right, I thought of the name. I put it on my shirt and I put it on my hat. And I walked out that day proud with a brand new name that was going to change the world, and the name was Bufu. <laughs> Buy us for us. I'm walking down the block, and a girl that I used to date, her brother, her gay brother, came up to me and gave me the sloppiest, wettest kiss on my cheek and said to me, Damon, I always knew that about you. And I said, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, boo-foo, down south, boo-foo, me. I don't want to tell you what it meant. But it definitely wasn't by us for us. So, I quickly went back and changed the name as well as changed my phone number because he kept calling me the rest of the night. <laughs> and I changed the name to FUBU. All right, now it's time to monetize this situation and how are we going to do that? We need a spokesperson. We saw that Nike had Michael Jordan and we need a spokesperson. So the person I knew was LL and I knew LL knew a lot of people. LL wasn't the most fashionable guy but he also was a star, but I knew that he could hook me up with Russell Simmons and everybody else, so I go to his house. I say, L, I really need this. I need to know how to get Russell Simmons or Andre Harrell or one of these guys, to, I'll be sure, somebody to be my spokesperson. And he said, listen, I don't want to do my LL invitation, but he said, hey, baby, you know what I'm saying? What you need to do is you need to stalk him. You need to, you need to not let him breathe. You know, show up at his door every single day and, and do whatever you got to do. And no matter what, not let them out of your sights till you push your will on theirs and overcome their resistance. I said, all right, well, how do I find them? Well, I don't know. You got to go out there and find them. I can't tell you. I can't give you their addresses. So went home. I thought about it. And I said, well, why don't I just stalk LL? <laughs> so I went to his house the next day and I set up camp on his lawn the next day. Me and my friends, I, I, I took his advice, right? Now, LL comes out the house, and, um, you know, I knew that he had to leave for some show he was shooting called In the House um, in Los Angeles. I knew I had to get in a limousine, and we stood outside the house with cameras, and he said to me, you know what? If I take this shot, I probably will lose all my other endorsements, anything from Nike to everything else. He said, because nobody knows you, nobody knows you're ever going to get anywhere. He said, but you know what? That burning desire in your eye, I believe in you. I'm going to take the shot. And if you, anything happens, you take care of me, and we become, you know, we'll do this together. I said, I promise I will. And I took that shot. Now, that started it all for me. <laughs>